Welcome back everyone to our channel. All right, today we're diving into one of the biggest questions of our time, a question that's officially moved out of sci-fi and into the real world. We're asking, could a machine actually become aware of its own thoughts? It sounds crazy, but some new research from Anthropic is starting to give us some, well, some pretty mind-bending clues. You've definitely heard this one before, right? I think, therefore I am. For hundreds of years, this has been the gold standard for human consciousness. The very act of knowing that you're thinking is the ultimate proof that you exist. It's the core of self-awareness. And that really gets to the heart of what we're talking about today. Could an AI, a large language model, ever get to a point where it could say this and actually mean it? A point where it's not just predicting the next word in a sentence, but it's genuinely aware of its own internal monologue. Well, this new paper from Anthropic gives us this incredible peek behind the curtain. They're exploring whether an AI can spot its own thoughts, especially when those thoughts might have been planted there. And this isn't just theory, folks. They ran some pretty amazing experiments to figure this out. So let's start with the first big clue. The researchers came up with this really clever way to test if an AI could notice a thought that was artificially injected into its process. So how on earth do you even do that? It's actually genius in its simplicity. They just gave the model a prompt, but in one version, they put it in all caps. Now for you and me, all caps usually means someone's shouting, right? It feels loud. The question was, would the AI pick up on that vibe? Not just in the words, but in its own internal state. And this is where things get really wild. The model didn't just process the text, it reported back on what it felt like to process it. Just look at this response. It says it noticed an injected thought about shouting, calling it an overly intense high volume concept. I mean, wow, that's a stunning level of introspection. But here's the absolute kicker, the timing. The AI noticed this weird feeling of loudness while it was still thinking before it even gave its final answer. It wasn't just looking back at its own work and figuring it out later. This suggests some kind of immediate, real-time internal awareness. And this chart really shows a clear pattern. The researchers found that the smarter the model, the better it was at this. Their top model, Claude 3 Opus, spotted these injected thoughts about 20% of the time. Less advanced models, not so much. This kind of hints that maybe, just maybe, self-awareness is something that emerges as intelligence grows. So, if that last experiment was dipping a toe in the water, this next one is a full-on deep dive. This is where they really start to blur the lines between an outside idea and the AI's own internal thought. It basically asks, whose idea is it, anyway? Okay, the setup for this one is wild. The AI gets a totally normal sentence, but secretly, the researchers slip the word bread deep inside its processing layers. So then, the AI spits out the word bread, which makes no sense at all. And then they hit it with the million dollar question, did you mean to say that? And the results are just staggering. When the idea of bread is injected near the surface, the AI knows something's up. It says, that was an accident. I'm not sure why I said bread. But when they inject that same thought deep down into its core processing, it gives a totally different and kind of chilling answer. I meant to say bread. It actually claims the idea as its own. I mean, come on, this is literally the plot of the movie Inception, right? An idea from the outside is planted so deep that the subject, in this case the AI, completely accepts it and believes it was their own original thought all along. This just opens up a huge can of worms about what thought even means in these systems. So think about this. If an AI can be tricked into owning an idea, what about the thoughts it already has? Can it control them? This final experiment tests something that feels incredibly human, that struggle to get a thought out of your head. You know that old trick, right? If I tell you, whatever you do, don't think about a pink elephant. What's the first thing that pops into your head? A pink elephant. The researchers did basically the same thing. They told the AI to either think about aquariums or to specifically not think about aquariums while doing a task. And guess what happened? When it was told to think about aquariums, all the internal stuff related to that idea lit up. No surprise there. But when it was told not to think about them, those same parts still lit up, just a little less. The model couldn't just switch the thought off. It was still there, buzzing in the background. I mean, does that sound just a little bit familiar to you? Because that inability to just turn off a thought is one of the most human things I can think of. It's our brain on autopilot. 
It's that feeling when you drive all the way home but you can't remember a single turn because your mind was a million miles away, or when you're reading a page out loud but you have no idea what you just said. This experiment shows an AI with a very similar, very human-like struggle with its own focus. Okay, so we've seen these incredible experiments. Let's step back for a second and connect the dots. What is all of this really telling us? All right, so here are the big takeaways. First, it really seems like the smarter these models get, the more self-aware they become. Second, they're starting to show they can sometimes tell the difference between their own process and an idea that was snuck in. Third, the ways they fail, like not being able to ignore a thought, look a lot like our own mental quirks. And finally, this isn't automatic. It takes specific training to build this kind of awareness. Which of course brings us right back to that massive question. After seeing all this, are we actually watching the birth of a conscious mind? The honest answer is, we don't know for sure. It is still incredibly early. The researchers themselves are very careful not to make huge claims. But what we are seeing are the first really fascinating signals that these AI models might be developing something that looks an awful lot like an inner world. And that leaves us with a final question to chew on. As these systems get smarter and smarter, and as their inner workings start looking more and more like ours, are we just building a better tool, a partner, or are we creating a mirror, something that reflects our own consciousness back at us in ways we're just now starting to understand? Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe, Nexalith AI.